And later that day, Ted plunged Mary Jo Kopechny to her death at Ch uh, Chappaquiddick. We're going to go over there tomorrow. And it ties to Watergate. Not so much Chappaquiddick, but Ted Kennedy ties to Watergate because Nelson and Rockefeller orchestrated Watergate to destroy Ted Kennedy's presidential hopes. Because remember, Nelson killed Jack, then he killed Bobby, so now he had to worry about Ted and his presidential aspirations. The Rockefellers will do anything to keep the truth out of the White House. But see, Kissinger never wants to let the truth in the White House because Kissinger arranged the Kennedy assassination for Nelson Rockefeller. That's why he don't want, that's why he met with Trump. He summoned Trump. When they realized Trump was ready to, um, that his campaign was serious, he got summoned to 435 West 50th Street. He cut a secret deal with uh, uh, um, Kissinger, who's a non-blood family member of the Rockefellers. And, uh, but he broke up the deal, Trump broke up the deal. But you know, if Nelson were alive, you don't break up a deal with the Rockefellers and live to talk about it. If Nelson were alive, Trump would be dead. Purely for that one thing alone, just for reneging, reneging, believe me, you make a deal with the Rockefellers, you do, you do so under the penalty of death. That's one of the reasons they, killed, they had to kill Kennedy because Kennedy reneged. See, Kennedy took, um, Kennedy took Rockefeller help, and then he turned on the Rockefellers because Nelson Rockefeller suddenly in 1962 and 1963 emerged as the leading Republican candidate for the White House. And Kennedy told his friends, he confided in his closest friends that his biggest challenge in 64 would be Nelson, Governor Nelson Rockefeller. Because Rockefeller got reelected in 62.